Lionel Messi has officially joined Inter Miami, and here's everything you need to know about his new club, including how it became the worst team in Major League Soccer. 16 years ago, David Beckham shocked the world when he left Europe to join the Los Angeles Galaxy. At 31 years of age, and still in the prime of his career, Beckham was not only leaving the biggest club in the world, but he did so while taking a 70% pay cut. So why would Beckham join an irrelevant league at the peak of his career? For only $25 million, Beckham's contract with the Galaxy gave him the option to create a future MLS team, an option he activated in 2014. Four years later, Inter Miami was born, and the club played its first game two years later. Today, Inter Miami is worth $600 million, making Beckham's investment a success, but on the pitch, the club has been a disaster. Beckham's vision for the club was to use the city of Miami to attract the world's best players, but so far, this has proven to be a difficult task. The MLS's salary cap, which is the amount teams can spend on their squad, is $5.2 million, and the maximum annual salary for an MLS player is $651,000. This amount is peanuts compared to what players in Europe's top leagues earn. So to attract more stars to the league, the MLS created the designated player rule in 2007, also known as the David Beckham rule. This allowed teams to sign up to three designated players called DPs, outside their salary cap, enabling them to offer competitive salaries. While clubs have used this rule to bring superstars to America, Miami's DPs have been underwhelming. Club record signing Rodolfo Pizarro flopped, as did Gonzalo Higuain and Blaise Matuidi. Worst of all, in 2019, Inter Miami was given the biggest fine in MLS history, for having five designated players on their roster, causing them to terminate the contract of Matias Pellegrini, after spending $9 million on him two years ago. With the arrival of Messi and Sergio Busquets, and rumors that Luis Suarez and Jordi Alba are on the way, Beckham has finally delivered on his promise to bring world-class players to Miami. However, it might already be too late. This season, Inter Miami is the worst team in MLS, and are currently last in the Eastern Conference. Winless in their last 11 games, the club has already sacked manager Phil Neville, a former teammate and friend of Beckham, who got the job despite having few qualifications. Beckham has now turned to Tata Martino, a former MLS champion, who has worked with Messi at Argentina and Barcelona, to steady the ship. The MLS is on a month-long break during the League's Cup, a competition between the clubs of MLS and Mexico's Liga MX. Messi will make his debut versus Cruz Azul, and will immediately have an opportunity to compete for a trophy. When the MLS season restarts, Miami will have 12 games left, and with the club 12 points away from the playoffs, Beckham is hoping Messi can inspire an incredible comeback. Bienvenido Lionel Messi. Welcome to Miami.